Mom was born and raised in Kansas. Dad was from the Sedalia area. Uh, both grew up Catholic and instilled great Catholic values in all of us kids. Uh, I remember, um, like so many children at the time, coming to a lot of masses and um, big events around Easter and Christmas and feeling like, gosh, we're going to church all the time. Uh, but now that I'm grown and understand my faith and continue to learn about my faith, I'm so thankful that my dad and mom instilled the importance of our faith in us. And as we grew up, that was just one of many things that uh, left uh, Dad left us and Mom left us with a legacy, you know, how to work hard, how to get along with others, how to accept others for what they were, who they were, without trying to be judgmental, um, charity towards others, uh, service. Uh, both my mom and dad uh, taught us that you really don't get very far in life unless you learn to serve others. And, you know, as you read the Gospels, that was Jesus' message to us, learn to be a servant. I just am so thankful that I had folks that really saw the importance of God first, uh, family second, and then uh, serving our country as well. Even though my dad was never in the military, he valued the importance of serving your country, and I think that just uh, showed itself in other ways where he chose to serve family and the church and any of those in need. Oh, and I think about my mom and dad. The, the first thing that comes to mind is is the word love because they expressed that love for each other but that spilled into their love for their family and family was really important as was their faith their faith was primary they were involved here at the school and at the parish but they were extremely involved in 4-h and that was all about you know youth development and developing a sense of community and they were very generous. Generous with their time, with whatever resources they had, with things they knew how to do to teach other people. Uh, if, if there was a neighbor or friend that was ill or needed anything, you just did that. And my mom just always encouraged us to read and to, my dad really encouraged us to learn. Both of them were, were big advocates of of learning and hands-on learning. You know, we grew up on a farm and my dad in many ways, if you looked at him, you would not have said, oh, there's a progressive farmer. He didn't have the latest machinery. Things might not have always been done at the time everybody else had things done. Some of that's because if there was a program here at school, he would not be in the field, he'd be here to see us in that program. And I remember that. My dad beautifully shared his faith with others. He was not afraid to talk about his faith. My mom did so in quiet ways. Those quiet, motherly ways of encouragement, of giving of herself, you know, many times I know at Easter, um, at Christmas, she sewed. She would make us outfits. Dad would come and work on the boilers here at school. And, you know, that would be after he finished everything at home. They really gave out of a generous heart. And, you know, generosity comes from a place of gratitude. And that would be something that I would say that um, they expressed, they were always thankful to God, always thankful for what they did have. Just want to say thank you, Mom and Dad, for your valuable lessons that you've taught us and uh, the fact that you instilled in us the most important thing in life is having faith in God and trusting in God's mercy and His love for you. So I'm excited to be a part of uh, honoring Mom and Dad uh, this weekend as they're introduced into the Hall of Fame. Thank you.